Hi guys, it's Ruby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Stoked to have you here. Today's video is going to be all about dun 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 editing. I have had more requests to do an editing video than I've had to do any other video ever and the day is finally here. We have an editing video all ready for you guys. For this demo, I'm gonna take you step by step through an editing process that I typically do in Lightroom Classic. So if you don't have Lightroom, head over to the Adobe website right now and set up a subscription for the photographer bundle. You're gonna get Lightroom, Photoshop, and I think it's only like $10 a month, super affordable. So pause this video and go set up your account if you haven't yet because Lightroom is definitely a tool that you are gonna wanna have, that you are gonna wanna master if you want to be a photographer. There are more editing videos to come, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that little bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. I am super excited about this one, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are in Lightroom Classic here, and I have this photo of Daphne and Matthias next to this cool, broken down gas station. And for me, with my editing style, I do prefer a warmer edit. Um, I prefer a slightly more vibrant edit, but while keeping it kind of on the earthier side and the moodier side, I'm definitely not a light and airy editor, but I wouldn't say I'm a dark and moody editor either. It's probably somewhere in the middle. The first thing that I would do when editing any photo is to apply a preset. So I have tons and tons of presets over here. I am going to apply this preset. It's a Dirty Boots and Messy Hair preset that I really like. And that is going to be my starting point. So everything got a little bit darker, it got a little bit more muted. So after applying the preset, the first thing that I'm going to do is just warm this photo up. I'm gonna warm it up with the temperature slider and I'm just going to slide it towards the yellow. So I'm definitely liking the warmth there. I don't wanna go too far and have it look like crazy, but you know, I do like it warm. The next thing that I wanna do is try and bring back some of the detail that's in this darker area. Um, I like to have it so detail still shows in my shadows and I also like there to be detail in my highlights. I don't like anything to be left out um, and that's just my personal style. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to just up the shadows a little bit to bring out some of that detail. And like, of course it's gonna flatten everything a little bit, but that's okay, we're just gonna deal with that later. And probably bring the blacks down just to bring back a little bit of richness. All right, and if you don't know, the backslash key on your keyboard will let you see a before and after. So I'm already really liking the warmth that I'm getting in this image. The next thing that I'm gonna do is just see what happens if I bring these highlights down. I'm just gonna bring them down all the way, maybe up just a tiny bit. So this looks great. I'm gonna just slide down here and just play with this vibrance a tiny bit. Just maybe bring it up a little. Okay, so one of the things that the preset that I applied does is it tends to mute the greens a little bit. So I like to go down here to my HSL panel and over to saturation and I like to just bring the greens up a little bit just to bring back a little bit more color into those greens. I don't want them to be crazy yellow, neon green, like oversaturated or anything, but I don't want it to look dead either. And this is May in Maine, so the grass was not a crazy green like you would see in June or July. So just wanna make it realistic. I like that. I'm also, since I'm a fan of warm photos, I'm gonna bring my yellow saturation up. That'll just affect mostly the, the trees and the grass. All right, I'm gonna check my before and after. So far, I am loving that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is pop over to the luminance panel in my HSL section over here. And just to give a little brightness to the skin tones, I like to play with the orange and red luminance sliders. So this is, there's a lot of orange going on in this image, her hair, um, his 
jacket, um, even in the rust colors, you know, so this is gonna affect a lot more than just the skin tones, but we'll see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna bring the orange up a little bit and you can see things, you know, I'll just bring it up all the way so you can see. Um, you know, we don't wanna make them look like ghosts. They are pale, <laughs> but we want them to look glowy, not ghostly. And the red is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna affect a lot of those things, but um, we'll just slide that up a little, and it's mostly affecting his jacket. It's not really affecting the skin tones, so I'm not gonna bring it up, really. All right, so on that note of them being a touch on the pale side, we'll pop back over here to saturation, and maybe we'll just add a little saturation to their skin by bringing up our orange and red saturation sliders. Once again, it is going to affect other things, but I think that it's kind of the vibe we're going for. Okay, so the orange is definitely doing a little bit more. I don't want to make them look crazy orange, so maybe just about there. And he's looking a little saturated for me with that red jacket. It's kind of pulling my eye, so I'm just gonna bring that red down a little. Alrighty, and the last thing that I like to do is just go back in and just play a little bit with the exposure. I'm just gonna bring it maybe down a little and see, cause I do like it a little bit moody. Um, and maybe add in a little bit of contrast and bring those blacks up just a touch. And voila, that is how I would edit this image. It's totally up to you how you wanna style your editing. Presets are a great jumping off point for editing. I tend to use the same couple of presets every time, but they don't work for every photo. And as my style has evolved, they don't quite fit anymore. I just have never really seemed to find the time to create a custom preset. So I've just still been kind of using this method. Um, so yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more editing videos or different types of editing videos, Leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see specifically. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed by all of the things that are going on in Lightroom, that's totally okay. There is definitely a lot to learn and we only went over a few of the tools that Lightroom has to offer. So start slow, just keep practicing and you will master it eventually. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and the little bell notification to make sure that you don't miss any videos that come out. New videos come out every single Tuesday and if you just really want more of me, you can go follow me over on Instagram at Ruby Jean Photography. I'm pretty active on my stories and I'm always giving out all kinds of handy little tips and tricks. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.